Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about the compression molding technique in the dental materials. There are various methods of acrylization and we have four here compression molding technique injection molding fluid resin technique and the visible light curing technique basically heat activated resins are used in the above two techniques and the chemically activated resin polymers are used in the fluid resin techniques okay so now let's start studying about the compression molding technique in detail so what is compression molding it is a process of molding a material in a confined space by applying pressure and heat. So after I complete the discussion on the steps of the compression molding technique, you should be able to answer what is the principle of that and we'll be discussing about it later in the end of the video. Okay, so first I'll be explaining you each and every step and the overall description of the compression molding technique and after we discuss that, I'll give you a mnemonic to learn it it in examination would be easier with the mnemonics but i'll suggest you to try and understand these steps because you need to perform acrylization in your prosthodontics too and you'll be doing that in your patients also so let's begin with the procedure so the first step is to prepare this the wax pattern and you need to remove it from the articulator so pehle base plate banayenge hum uske baad us pe occlusal rim occlusal rim ke upar teeth arrangement and that will be doing everything in accordance to the relation occlusal relation and the jaw relation so sab articulator pe karke and then we will remove the whole wax pattern from the articulator after that you invest the pattern in the flask using dental stone or dental plaster the next step is to apply the separating media so separating media is applied between your resin and your gypsum that is between your gypsum pore and between your denture base some commonly used separating media are your tin foil cellulose sodium alginate sodium silicate evaporated milk soap starches so why do we use separating media separating media is used to avoid the surface roughness let me explain you how surface roughness जो होता है वो होगा क्योंकि रेजन जो है रेजन में रेजन इज़ मेड अप ऑफ योर मोनोमर एंड पॉलीमर सो जो एक्स्ट्रा मोनोमर है दैट विल स्केप इन टू योर जिप्सम प्रोडक्ट एंड दैट विल कॉज सर्फिस रफनेस एंड जिप्सम में अगर जिप्सम में जो एक्स्ट्रा एच टू वो है इफ दैट पेनीट्रेट्स योर रेजन दैट वुड कॉज योर सेकेंड डिफेक्ट दैट इज पॉलीमराइजेशन डिफेक्ट सो एज टू अवॉइड बोथ ऑफ दैम वी सेपरेट रेजन and gypsum using a separating media and mostly we use sodium alginate after applying the separating media the upper portion of denture flask is positioned at the top of the lower portion of the denture flask the image that you are watching here is the lower portion of the denture flask now you you need to put the upper portion of the denture flask and this is the time to pour, do the second pour so now we will pour the image here is depicting the first pour now let's see how how does the flask looks like after you position the upper portion and pour the second time and the second time you pour it's again with the dental stone only there are two systems of pouring two pour system and three pour system separating media needs to be applied between the first and second pour it is not necessary to apply the separating media after your between your second and third pour so this is how it appears after your second and third pour now we need to clamp it clamping removes the excess dental stone and the material so this is how clamping looks like a particular pressure is applied during clamping and we let it in the clamp until the plaster sets now once the plaster has set you need to de-wax it and we'll be doing de-waxing in boiling water for 20 minutes at 100 degrees celsius so we need to keep keep the flask at 100 degrees celsius 
after 20 minutes you remove the flask and then cut it into two halves and two halves may kaise separate hoga because we have applied separating media between the first pour and second pour also right now we have two parts counter and cast the counter part is the part in which teeth is embedded here you can see two part the one in which teeth is present is your counter part and the other one is cast the counter part is again put in the hot water so as to remove every bit of wax that may be present in between the teeth the space between the counter and the cast will be used to put your heat your raisin if it is maxilla we make a ball shaped dough and if it is mandible we make dough shaped so you need to remember this for your viva and another important part is by volume we take 3 is to 1 then that is the ratio of monomer and polymer and by weight it is 2 is to 1 if you take more monomer then it will lead to increased shrinkage and setting time will be increased and porosity will also be increased so now let's discuss these steps again as i said the ratio will be 3 is to 1 so we'll take three parts of polymer and one part of monomer it is dispensed in a porcelain jar the jar is closed tightly to prevent your vaporization of monomer then the material is packed into the mold space space in dough stage so i hope you guys remember the physical stages of polymerization sandy stringy dough rubbery and stiff jab hamara dough stage mein aa jayega mix at that point we will pack it a wet cellophane sheet or you can take a polyethylene separator sheet and it is placed over the material and then the flask is closed and fastened on a bench press so hamara iske baad hoga trial closure which will be at 1500 psi after which we will do the bench press bench press ke baad you will open the flask and will close the close the flask again and uske baad jo bench press hoga that will be at 3500 psi and these values are to be remembered and final bench press ke baad jo hamara extra flash hai puri tarah se remove ho jata hai after that the separation of cellophane sheet is done and then trimming of the excess material from the cast and after that we remove the acrylic flash whatever is left behind now the acrylic is polymerized by compression molding technique which is a conventional and very commonly followed technique. This is a heating procedure. The packed flask after bench curing is placed in the water bath for polymerization. Now different polymerization cycles are followed for heat cure polymerization acrylic so there are two curing cycles long curing cycle and short curing cycle the long curing cycle that follows a constant water bar temperature of 74 degrees celsius for eight hours from a regular room temperature the cycle has no terminal boiling temperature the curing cycle a in sustained radical release for effective polymerization now the next cycle is the short curing cycle which follows 74 degrees celsius for two hours and 100 degrees celsius for one hour for your fastening the curing cycle because at times you need to deliver the denture to the patient asap after that deflasking is done during deflasking one needs to be very careful to avoid the dentures deflasking is the act of separating the cast and denture from the flask it is advised to make cuts through the stone with saw to separate the dentures to avoid any fracture or warping the errors in the occlusion can arise due to shrinkage of acrylic or distortion changes that is happening during the polymerization. So to avoid it, remounting procedure is done. 
the advantage of remounting our correction can be made without patient chair time kam karta hai better visibility of occlusal contact and ye sab ke baad finally your denture is almost completed finishing and polishing bas bachta hai which is done by your vol vulcanite trimmers or acrylic pearl the excess flash is trimmed with the help of vulcanite trimmers and the border of dentures are preserved the margins are finished with your acrylic stones and tara here is your complete shiny complete denture so this was all about the process of compression molding technique now let's get back to a question that i was asking can you now guess what was the principle of compression molding technique the lost wax technique so summarizing now i promised you a mnemonic and the mnemonic is was a mp kuku defi so you can learn it as sabse pehla was ka wa is for waxed s is for split mold a for application and similarly you can take the screenshot of this and learn it as was a mp kuku defi but i would suggest you all to understand the whole step and once you do the acrylization yourself in your pcp i think you'll be able to write down the things uh, and but you need to remember few datas like the temperatures and the pressures that i mentioned in the video i hope you understood the whole procedure of compression molding technique thank you if you like the video please like share and subscribe